Hello everybody and a short introduction to this War Thunder video. Um, I decided to do this because I wanted to put a little perspective into what you are about to see and witness in this one and also explain a little bit what uh, caught me off guard when I was flying this at the time. And from the cockpit model you can probably already tell I'm flying an I-16. Uh, this one's from the Chinese tech tree, Type 5, uh, with a closed cockpit, telescopic side, which uh, is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, as shoot, trying to shoot people, especially in a twisty turny dogfight like here against this uh, French light bomber. And um, yeah, what I did not realize, or what I <laughs> realized a little late into this sortie was that this thing has a fixed uh, propeller. And this comes with all sorts of limitations in regard to speed, acceleration, climb rate, turn rate. So, yeah. Um, fixed pitch propellers, of course, are very easy to produce because. They, they don't have mm, any moving parts, um, but yeah, they. Um, the, the problem with them is that um, during most of the flight envelope, uh, you're probably going to either over rev or under rev the engine, and only in basically when it comes to cruise um, settings, you're gonna run the engine in in optimal conditions. And this is also why most of the major powers in World War II spent so many resources to develop and get into service uh, variable pitch or constant speed propellers. They are much more sophisticated, much more complicated and expensive to produce, uh, but the advantages far outweigh all of the disadvantages. Um, yeah, and in this particular sortie, in this mission, I flew two versions of the I-16, the Type 5 and the Type 10, both of which have a fixed pitch prop. Um, and actually, the first model of the I-16 that actually had a variable, a constant speed prop, uh, was the I-16 Type 18, which I do not fly in this uh, video. So, what's the issue here? So. Flying an I-16, I of course expected to be somewhat able to turn with my opponents and I'm going to end up fighting a guy flying um, a Swedish J-20, which is the export model of the Rigian uh, RE-2000. I was actually expecting to be somewhat able to turn with this guy, but it didn't turn out. <laughs> to be like that, because of the fixed pitch prop. Um, and as, especially if you start turning, you will lose a lot of speed. And because you're flying, at, uh, because the, the, the fight tends to uh, develop to a slow speed uh, turning content, contest, um, the engine is going to have a hard time actually getting all that power in onto the air with this fixed pitch prop and you, can, you will be able to see me just disengage, re-engage uh, over and over and here I actually uh, catch this guy off guard, he doesn't even know I'm there so he's an easy clicking but in the next scene you're gonna see um, what the issue is with the early model I-16s and whenever you're going to take these ones out of the hanging you have to keep in mind they have a fixed pitch prop and you're probably not gonna want to try and um, turn fight anybody who has a decently maneuverable plane. Alright, so I'm gonna shut up now and you watch the rest of the video and I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one.